This one is about the fixed orifice device used on many air conditioners. Now the fixed orifice is right there. And we're going to pull that apart and we'll take a look at what's inside. Okay, here it is with the tubing ta taken off the top. You can see it in there. <clears throat> the orifice is actually the, the hole in the center. I'll pull that out and we'll take a look at it and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, here we have a little closer look at this thing. You can see the hole. This one here looks like it's been through uh, compressor burnout. Okay, that's the actual orifice right there. That's what, what the refrigerant is restricted through. And there's specific sizes. And there's uh, numbers, let's see. Looks like that's like an 078. Okay, a little more about these things. Notice there's a gasket there. So the way the uh, body of this thing is designed is this slides back and forth with whichever way the refrigerant's going. This is so it can be used in a heat pump. Uh, if it's uh, a heat pump, in the summertime, the indoor coils and evaporator, so you want it to go through this. So this is what this little gasket is going to do, is hit up against the surface inside that body and only allow the refrigerant to go through that hole. However, if it moves up the other way, and you can see the shiny parts here, that hits up against part of the body and the refrigerant can go through all the uh, spots on the outside in addition to the hole so it doesn't have any restriction. So when it's being a condenser, it can uh, uh, it passes through freely. It is a type of check valve. This is the only thing this thing does is reduce pressure. There's nothing else in this thing to make uh, to control refrigerant. So it's a totally a pressure drop device. It will reduce pressure. That's all it does. Let's say I'm going to use some round numbers here. I had 200 pounds of head and 100 pounds of suction. Then this thing would be uh, reducing the pressure by 100 pounds. And that's all it is to these little uh, fixed orifice devices. We used to use capillary tubes. Here's an example of a coil, uh, an air conditioning coil that uses a uh, cap tube feed. You see these four lines? These are all, these are not distribution tubes as I showed you in another video. These are actually cap tubes. And so they're feeding each one of the uh, the coils in here. So that's what the cap tubes look like. Just these little tiny pipes. But this is a little more versatile in that you could put different sizes in for different applications and it could be used for a heat pump or an air conditioner. So that is the fixed orifice device in the air conditioner.